Suppose we start with a regular pentagon and let's assume the side length is 1. The diagonal length that cuts across the pentagon here is well known to have a length given by the golden ratio phi. Another well-known fact about the regular pentagon is that this diagonal shown here, along with the original diagonal drawn, creates an isosceles triangle as pictured here, which has sides of length 1 and a base of length 1 divided by the golden ratio. To see a proof of this fact, check the video linked in the description. The purple shaded triangle shown in this diagram is known as the golden triangle. The outer containing triangle is often referred to as the golden gnomon. Now we scale the golden triangle by the value 1 over the golden ratio. This allows us to fit a new triangle right next to the original with sides of length 1 over the golden ratio and base given by 1 over the golden ratio squared. This is actually just another golden triangle as it's similar to the original. But now we can repeat this process, scaling the new triangle by 1 over the golden ratio and rotating it and fitting it in the empty space and continuing again, scaling by 1 over the golden ratio and fitting the new triangle in the empty space. We can continue this process indefinitely. Each stage, we take the previously scaled copy of the golden triangle and scale again by the value 1 divided by the golden ratio, rotate and fit it in the empty space. If we imagine that we let this process go on forever or infinitely often, the limiting shape is the entire golden gnomon, and that means that we've filled in the entire golden gnomon with these scaled golden triangles. But then we can compute the length of the long side of the golden gnomon triangle two different ways. We know that on the one hand it is given by the golden ratio. On the other hand, it's given by the sum of the lengths of the purple golden triangle sitting inside. But each of those purple triangles has a length given by 1 over an even power of the golden ratio. This means that the golden ratio is equal to the infinite sum of the reciprocals of the even powers of the golden ratio, as shown here. But we can also get a related fact by looking at the pink shaded golden triangle sitting inside this golden gnomon. On the one hand, the side of the golden gnomon has a length of 1. On the other hand, it's also given by the sum of the lengths of the pink shaded triangles sitting inside. But each of the pink shaded triangles has a length given by 1 over an odd power of the golden ratio. Therefore, 1 is equal to the infinite sum of the reciprocals of the odd powers of the golden ratio. Notice that these two facts are actually one and the same, as we can obtain the first fact from the second fact simply by multiplying the entire equality by the golden ratio phi. Either of these two infinite series could be called the golden series, as they deal with the infinite powers of the reciprocal of the golden ratio. Can you see what happens if you try to add up all of the powers of the reciprocal of the golden ratio?